What's the big idea? Well, no, 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 no. What do you mean, no, 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 no? Now you have to stop. Mrs. Walker, she complained. Mrs. Walker, that old... She says she charged you with noise pollution. What? Noise pollution? Us? Well, that's what she say. Have you heard her eat? That's noise pollution. She bought her false teeth in 1921. Hey. Anyway, what's she talking about? We're playing in regulation hours. What can she do? Well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can take you to court. That's what I can do. You see, this is a letter from my doctor saying I've got inflamed eardrums, and this is a statement from my builder. I've got cracks in my walls from the vibrations. So you want to play? Play. But I'll see you in court. Can you get the picture? Look at my ears. See how red they are? Oh dear, how shocking. Oh. And the crack in my wall. It's so big, a truck drove through it. I want justice. I want justice. I want justice! Yes, yes, but please, shush. You'll wake the baby. Uh, let me see that. You look most guilty. Uh, what have you got to say? What do I have to say? Yes. What, what do, do you have to say? I say that the witness has inflamed eardrums because she listens at hot keyholes. Hot keyholes? Hot keyholes? And, and, and I suggest that the crack in her wall is caused by her jumping up and down to our music. Not because she hates it, because she enjoys it. She enjoys it? She enjoys it? What rubbish, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Order, order, order. Uh, what an interesting defence, young man. You say she enjoys it. She says that she hates it. Now, how are we going to prove who is right? There's only one way we can prove it, Your Honour. dreams did work, but Mrs. Walker wasn't our only problem. We had three little witches cooking up a pot of trouble. <laughs> the orange organics, they are terrible. How do you know? How do I know? I've heard them. Yuck! Is that the band you wanted to sing with? 
Me? Sing with them? I wouldn't sing with them if you paid me. They are the absolute pits. I reckon we ought to fix them up. How? I'm going to put something into their orange juice. Goody, I can do something too. <laughs> like what? Muck up their power supply. No power, no amps. You can't do that. I know I can't, but Murray Ball can. And he owes me for the three kisses I gave him after school yesterday. And he really owes me. They were three of the very, very best. And I reckon if I offered him three more like that, he'd cut off the power supply to the whole school. See what I mean? I don't have to stand in the middle of the highway to be in trouble. I just have to get out of bed. Mr Sturgis thinks it's for the best, Pumpkin. She won't feel a thing, son. Let's face it, she's over a hundred in human terms. What about her? Hope I'm as fit when I get to her age. How'd you get in here? Oh, come off, Hertz. I'm trying to sleep. Look, if you guys are going to live to be 100 years old, you've got to expect to lose a few mates. Oh, OK. I hope there aren't any health inspectors watching. big idea. I go to school every day. There's nothing different about that. Well, I can't take you with me. Look, in a couple of days, you won't even remember, Binny. Miss. Good. Good lad. For a moment there, I thought your voice had changed. <laughs> very well, class. Let's move on. I'd like you to read the next chapter very quietly and then we'll discuss it. Whoever's making that noise, would they please change their breakfast cereal? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> This time you have defeated even me, Wall. What on earth were you doing? Dog sitting, sir. Dog sitting? Yes, sir. Minnie lost Binny yesterday, and they'd been together for nearly a hundred years. hundred years? In human terms, sir. Uh, do you have a dog? No, I do not have a dog, Wall. Then you wouldn't understand. It's really fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a piece of chalk? I could set out the equation on the board. Uh, would you mind holding the lead? I wouldn't want it chasing another cat. Well, please go back to where you were. But, sir, it's really fascinating. I'm not interested in your equation. I'm simply interested in punishing you, Walt. But, sir, as a mathematician... I am not a mathematician. I'm a humanitarian. And Minnie's a dogatarian. <laughs> you see, if you take one dog year is equaling seven human years... Well, please, take the dog home. I've got far better things to do with my time. 
do hope that your dog hasn't lost any fleas. Don't worry, sir. She's got plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we got out of that one, aren't we, old girl? You know, thinking about old dogs made me think about old people, which made me think about old Gus. Come on. You're not sick again, I hope. No. Oh, good. I just wanted to see old Gus. Why? Does he owe you money? No, I just want to see him. Well, you can't. Why not? You can't because he's not here anymore. Where is he? I don't know. Has he got any family? Nope. Oh. That's why I don't know. Oh, what do they usually do with old people like Gus? They put them in a home. OK, I'll go and see if I can find him. Uh, there are a lot of them. Homes? Uh-huh. And old people. Oh, he must owe you money. <laughs> I just want to check up on what he's eating these days. Hold on. This is Sister Brisket, Ward 401. Would you have a record of Gustavus Moore? Discharged about two weeks ago. It'll save you a lot of shoe leather. Oh, yuck. Don't think much of that. <laughs> no, neither do I. I'll go and get you some decent stuff. No, 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 no. I'm not hungry. But you've got to eat. Why? For starters, I want you to hear my band soon. And it won't be long before I make a million dollars before breakfast. And then I'll come and I'll pick you up and I'll take you to some place where the food is so good that I'll have to come and see you every day just to help you eat it. <laughs> oh, don't forget now. Leave me your address before you go. Hey, they all think you're my grandson. <laughs> and don't worry if you don't see me for a couple of days. I've got this excursion tomorrow and the next night I've got this gig at Rosalie Girls College. You know, snooty job. I'm sure you'll be great. So, see you later, Gus. Oh, thanks for calling by, son. <laughs> Bye. 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 Make sure he behaves himself, OK? We will <laughs> let him go. Here he is. Who said he'd run away? We wondered where you were. Even had Marion out looking for you. She said you weren't rehearsing. Nah, I got neighbour problem. Neighbours? Oh, I can fix neighbours. You just tell me what the problem is and Ari will have it fixed in 24 hours. Nah, she's right. Let me guess. I used to learn the drums when I was your age and the old bat next door ate at the side of it. Even came the raw prawn with the council bylaws. Do you know what I did? I can imagine. Uh, Frank, you were there. Yes, I, I was there. I, I was there. Yeah. I didn't do what you all think I might have done. I didn't drop a brick on her head. I did a garden and for her. I cleaned up her rubbish. He did? I did. I even picked up a shopping for her. See, all she wanted was a fight, but I gave her exactly the opposite. I could have played my drums 24 hours a day, except I lost interest. So there you are, you see, young people. That's lesson number one. Never give a neighbour the fight they expect, because they're ready for it. Who found you? Marion! I was getting ready to move into his room. Uh, 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 uh. Never hit your sister. That's what uncles are for. If you do hit me, I won't tell you what I know. Ooh, secrets do tell. I wasn't talking to you. Marion? Don't be rude. I'm not telling anybody anything now. Sit down at the table. Dinner's only ready. Come on. Come on. All right, but don't think I'm going to tell. Well, how's business, Uncle Harry? Any richer, I'd be Rockefeller. Give or take a few billion. <laughs> Daniela Valentina hates you and she's going to wreck the social when your band tries to play. Who is Daniela Valentina? Sounds like an old-time movie star. She goes to Rosalie College and she hates him. Well, I can tell you how to fix her. How do you know? Oh, Peter. Peter's out. <laughs> I want to know what she's talking about. Tony Watkins' sister goes to Rosalie College and he said, is your stupid brother going to play with his stupid band at the stupid social on Friday cos... Don't. Cos he says they're going to wreck it. Who's going to wreck it? Them. How? What are they going to do? I think you'll have to tell him more than just that, Marion. Why? Cos he's going to kill you if you don't. 
I don't know what they're going to do. I just know they're going to do it. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum, 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 dum. Now, do you want to know what to do in a case like this? No! Oh, Papua, come to walk to school, have you? I've been hearing since Daniela. Funny, they say playing in a band sends you deaf. Are you going to wreck the social on Friday night? Why would I want to do that? Now, when Mrs Walker gets here, uh, Jenny, you can give her the flowers. And once she's had a cup of tea, We'll offer to talk about the problem. I don't want to talk to her. We haven't spoken in six years. Diplomacy. That's what we've got to try. Come in, Mrs Walker. How nice to see you. Oh. Seat, Mrs Walker. Oh, thank you. How do you take your tea, Mrs Walker? Black. Black with one sugar. Thank you. <laughs> say you have made a difference to this place. <laughs> yes, a decided improvement. <laughs> Biscuit, Mrs Walker. Oh, thank you. Oh, my favourites. How did you know? We must like the same things. <sighs> yes, well, I don't know about that, however. All right. Life short. I suppose you want to talk about this noise problem. That's if you're ready to talk about it, Mrs Walker. Well, I always say that if people are prepared to be civil to one another, you can get around most problems. <laughs> Got a great idea what to do about that old bat that's been giving you all the trouble. <laughs> just as well. If we can't practice, we can't play. If we can't play, Daniela can't muck us up. But I want you to try something. So do I. Revenge is beautiful. Anyhow, if we try to think of all the things she could do, then we can make plans. Great. Counter-attack. And no prisoners. Have you got the hots for Daniela? No. No, he doesn't like it. He just likes free fish and chips, don't you, Bezza? What? What, what, what? What Daniella's gonna do. She'll get her mates to ask for songs we don't even know. Make us look stupid. Yeah, like that old guy did at the 21st. Yeah. Well, what are we gonna do if she does that? I don't know. Do you? No. Can't very well learn a whole heap of old songs just in case. She mightn't even do that. Boys, are you with us or are you planning a little expedition of your own? Thank you very much. Now, I want you to bear in mind that we are not here for just a picnic. We are here with a purpose, and that is to study the Australian indigenous animal in its natural habitat. Back with your relatives, eh, Pug? Want another caterpillar race, do you, Con? I still owe for that. It wasn't my skateboard that squashed him anyway. Boys, Napoleon was winning. Please pay attention. Uh, sorry, uh, just tuning up, Miss. Racing. <laughs> Lovely place. This is Karen. She's going to tell you all about the wombat. Hello, everyone. This is a baby wombat. Wednesday is a female wombat, and she's just about one year old as of this month. So the breeding season last year is when she was conceived. As you can see down here, we, we know it's a female wombat because she has a pouch. And like all true marsupials, Hi. Yes, please. Uh, one pie, please. Uh, two pies? Just one. Just one? Not after a pie? No. Dollar thirty, thank you.
Thank you. Uh, hadn't you a bit of advice something? Well, I think we're married. <laughs> I can handle them. Uh, Want to buy? <laughs> no, have you got enough sauce? No. <laughs> Cut off some more. Serious? Yep. Oh, you're disgusting. Yep. I think I'll have a bite. Oh, I, I can't help it. Oh, oh. I don't have to me <laughs> when oh, I noticed him. <laughs> Never saw a cuter smile. <laughs> Got another what? She could let off stink bombs, so everyone has to clear the hall. But that wouldn't make us look stupid. It'd just wreck the social. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Nah, nah, nah. I was mesmerised. His eyes hypnotised. All right, class. Let's move along. We've got a lot to see. Pick up your rubbish. Hey, where's my sweater? How did it get over there? not a bear at all, it is a marsupial. I just want you to bear that in mind. A cuddly, friendly creature, some would say, although I can think of creatures I'd much rather cuddle. Hey, what's better? Uh, he's got blinds on him. Brush him off. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, nah. nah. Con, you can I'm gonna take it 